It's not just the dog meat which proved to be a difficulty. A local fashion trend also touched Lauren's nerve. The popularity of the fur coat in Changchun was another Russian influence. In the winter, they would always wear, a lot of people really wanted to wear fur coats. A lot of it was imported from Russia, where they don't really have as strict like rules about, about like making fur coats. And it kind of made me sad um, because there was just so many people wearing fur coats. And I kept thinking about like where that was all coming from. And, but yeah, everyone there wanted like a real fur coat. That was like a really cool thing to, to wear in the wintertime. She always tries to talk to people about animal protection issues, but it never really works. After all, it must be tricky to get your point across if you're the odd one out. Um, you know, a lot of the, the women, like their makeup was very, very intense. And uh, yeah, it just looked like they were ready to go out to a club and it would be like eight o'clock in the morning, like they were going to work. <laughs> and they always would make their, a lot of them make their hair like really, really big. Kind of like the style back in like the 50s and 60s in the US, you know, like it would kind of like the beehive, like it would be really big and or they would like crimp it. So it was like poofed out a lot. They were always trying to get me to do that with my hair too. <laughs> Which I was like, no, I think I'll, I think I'll stick to my own. Jilin province is one of the coldest places in China. In the winter, tourists from warm places travel here for the breathtaking rhyme scenery. In the summer, the weather is much cooler than in the south. Lauren travelled to many places in Jilin province when she worked in Changchun. The most memorable trip was the Heavenly Lake, a crater lake at the border of North Korea, which she visited with her mother. We just felt really lucky because a lot of times when you go, um, like the weather is different on the top of the mountain from the bottom of the mountain. And, you know, there's like a famous, like they said that one of the leaders of China, like every time he went there, he never actually got to see the crater lake because, um, yeah, it can be like clear at the bottom of the mountain. And then you go to the top of the mountain and it's all fog. But we were lucky because the day that we went was just absolutely beautiful. And it was like clear, light blue crater lake. As time passed, Lauren made lots of friends in Changchun, and that gave her opportunities to have hands-on experience with the city and the lives of the local people. Come back next week for more of Lauren's Changchun experiences.